Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. And as always, I hope you're well. And uh, Scorpio, if you are new here, my name is Joe, and I'll be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Okay. Please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them, or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless, and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the other readings I've done for your sign. But more than anything, Scorpio, do yourself a favor. Do check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then you can check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life, it usually means that your messages are just probably coming stronger from those placements. Sometimes that happens, it all depends on your current life path or journey. Last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment, I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate it very much. All right, Scorpio. Okay. Let's shuffle. Scorpio, you have the moon as the starting energy of your reading or the current energy that you're dealing with, Piscean energy. This talks about secrets, fears, dreams, the unknown, not being able to see with clarity um, anything. Okay, Might be some self-doubts. But Scorpio, also this talks about you. You know, sometimes, I guess... It could be time for you to start answering to a divine calling. Okay. I have a well wolf and a domesticated dog, and you are the domesticated dog who is howling at the moon just the way the well wolf does, has always been doing it. Okay. You are breaking from all belief systems, from dogmas. Okay. And we finally responding to this higher call to this energy could be something you know it's like this wild side of you okay i don't know but uh you're meant to let that inner wolf shine okay okay let's continue we'll figure out what's going on here the energy that's crossing it could be a challenge or a blockage i i somehow thought about this card and I, I, so I'm amazed <clears throat> it's a challenge a blockage okay you're holding on too tight to something not wanting to let go of it it probably gives you some sense of security um, but unfortunately it doesn't serve you any good I think it's draining you, it's draining your energy. It's, uh, just look at, the, you know, the body language, very exhausted, stressed, tired, scared. And this clothing, well, the rope, the shawl is torn, you know. I think you holding onto this, or trying to control something. I don't know what it is, but it's, uh, it's chewing you up. Okay, it's draining you. You're meant to, I think you're meant to just let things flow the way they are. I think you're meant to um, embrace the fear, the mystery. Okay. And just go with the flow of things. Crowning you in your conscious mind. You are aware of this. You're constantly thinking about it. Hmm. Five of Pentacles, it's right after the Four of Pentacles. There's this 
like if uh, you know, feel that you don't have enough, you're left out in the cold, you, you're in this constant struggle, you're tired, you're weak, just barely making it, and you know that you just have to keep persevering. Because that's the only th thing that you can do in these conditions. You know, just keep going, keep moving. Because when you're out in a storm like this, the worst thing you can do is stop. That can be very costly. So it's important that you just keep moving, right? This uh, lack mentality, I was going to say, I mean, this constant lack mentality. Not, f maybe even uh, not feeling appreciated value the way you should okay hmm. below you subconscious mind you're not aware of this and you should Scorpio your spirit guides God divine your higher self want you to pay more attention to this it's the night of wands I think some of you are dealing with a very erratic energy very inconsistent very indecisive. They don't know what they want. Excuse if you hear the snoring from my dog. She's uh, really deep. She's deep sleep. Sagittarius energy sometimes, not necessarily. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Very erratic. Not meant to deal with this anymore. Maybe this is why you have to let go of something, okay? Also, um, I get a me another message with this. It's about you learning and learning to, you know, to be more playful and happy, just be more, be conscious about other people's time and energy when you do this, okay? It's okay to be playful and, and all that, but just be mindful of other people's time and energy, that you don't affect them somehow when you do this, okay? Um, some of you are meant to take control of something, something that is very erratic, it could be yourself, maybe just the way you respond or how you act or how you do things. Too much in and out, it has to be corrected. Let's see, we'll, let me figure out, we'll see in a minute. The energy behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, what you're leaving or should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through the situation, the chariot, cancerian energy. It's about being in charge of your destiny, being in control, being in the driver's seat, being behind the driver's well, the steering wheel. Okay, maybe you are meant to take control of something, be in charge of your destiny, and start moving. You're meant to, some of you, getting stuck from a situation, just start charging forward and doing it very confident with a lot of confidence, trust, self-trust, self-confidence. Trust yourself, trust what you're doing, trust where you're going. You know that where you're at, you're not, you're not valued, you're not appreciated, okay? You know that you're aware. And you're showing it to me right here. I think some of you are afraid of having a new beginning. You don't know what what could come next, what you're supposed to do, you know. This is probably why you're having a hard time letting go. It seems that maybe some of you just somehow you feel safe where you're at. No matter the circumstances, how you feel in it. Uh, sometimes that's what 
happens when we become too comfortable in our comfort zones. Even if we're not happy, you know, we just at least somehow feel, I don't know, safe. Comfort zone where you are not comfortable. In front of you, we're headed to what's coming towards you as a page of cups, near future also. I think you're meant to endure something, to be true to yourself, to, to be true and loyal to your emotions. Don't ignore your emotions. You're meant to maybe have a new passion beginning somewhere else for some of you. But you have to allow to let yourself feel something. Some of you are probably dealing with someone who is very manipulative. With this Knight of Wands and this Page of Cups, I see. Oh, this, that's not you. This could be someone else who's trying to hold you back and keep you in this state of misery. Okay, very erratic and very manipulative. Okay, you're meant to move forward. Okay, I didn't see that until now. This, uh, the energy that represents you in this reading or how you should see yourself or respond to the situation. Four of Cups. You're not happy in this situation. You're not happy the way things have turned out. You're bored. Aloof, in a state of aloof. Very discontent. You're just sitting there watching, you know, staring at these three cups. Not very happy with the way how things have manifested for you. You're meant to take this new opportunity, a new emotional fulfillment. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did get that right then. You are in a situation where you're not appreciated, and you know you're, you're not happy. You're not content. You're not. You're not happy the way things have turned out. You're not happy with your situation. But uh, Scorpio, you have to be true to yourself and your emotions. If you're not happy here, it's time to move. This could be either someone else or you. You know, I'm, I'm still going to leave it open for you too. You know, sometimes we just hang on to things for dear life, even if we're not happy in the situation where we're at. You know. This is that undecisiveness. They want you to finally take this a decision in your life. Stop fucking around, in other words. You know, you know what I mean? It's not like you're uh, fooling around or anything. It's just you're not being true to yourself about a situation here. Scorpio, the energy that's surrounding you, it's influencing you, it's inspiring you, or should inspire you. Eight of Pentacles is about that self-mastery, putting the work on yourself, right? Focusing on you, just you. Keep yourself busy with your own projects, your own ideas, your own creative uh, endeavors. But put the work on you. Focus on you. It's all about you. Self-mastery. Just becoming a better version of yourself. Personally, spiritually, okay? Putting that hard work, that hard inner work on you. You have to do this. And I think you want to do this, but you can't do it in this situation, not in this environment that you're dealing with. To be able to do this, you have to step out of this. How can you work on yourself when you're dealing with negative energies or people that don't, you know, 
with a lot of erratic behavior, you're meant to grow. Hopes and fears. Six of Wands. Some type of victory, some type of success, recognition. Maybe recognition, you know, just being recognized. You want others to see you, how capable you are of growing on your own. Moving on, moving away from things that don't serve you. Some people will not be happy to see you doing this, but you're meant to do this. And I think you know that too. Because you want to get yourself out of that five pentacle energy, right? Right. But don't focus too much on what others think or see in you, you know? Focus on you. Self mastery. You'll have that victory. Then the rest will come on its own. Because if you do that, you do truly put that nice quality of work in yourself without without the need to surprise or impress anyone else, you know. Well, oh, they'll be impressed, but you focus more on you. The rest will come on its own. Okay, that's if you are thinking about that. If you are thinking about being in the public eye somehow or recognized. The best recognition comes from yourself. Self-recognition. Oh, shit. Outcome or advice, four of swords. Retreat, rest, recuperate. Four of Swords right before the Five of Swords were, you know, we're meant to drop our swords and walk away, you know. This is that full retreat. And to just recuperate. Quieting your mind. And to get some type of clarity. Okay. And understanding. And maybe he will something. Okay? But you're meant to do that. You're not meant to deal with any more negative energies. You're meant to focus on you and, he and your healing. Recuperate. Um, maybe even some type of forgiveness. Or just make peace with the situation. Just focus now on you. Okay? Yeah, seven of wands, bottom of the deck, after the six of wands, you know, some, that victory and you finally reaching some type of a higher ground where no one, nothing can touch you. They'll try, they'll try to poke at you and try to drag you back down to their level. It's a very negative energy. Jesus, it is. Stay strong, be bold, okay? Stand your ground and do it for yourself. Okay? You're meant to answer to a call on you. You're meant to get yourself out of this lower vibrational energy. Six of Cups. Remember to always keep enjoying life. Always. No matter what. Okay? Live life to the fullest. As a young child would. You know? Young children have other type of things to put their minds on, you know. And they're not dumb, kitty things. They're just different. And I think you're meant to do this somehow. To remind yourself, you know, to continue enjoying life to the fullest every day. Having fun, allow yourself to have to stop time, to stop and smell the flowers. Find the time to stop and smell the flowers once in a while. And whatever it is, the situation that you dealt with, maybe, you know, maybe it wasn't the right time. And please do not let anything from the past 
hold you back. Okay? That's so why you have to your emotions. Be true to your, to yourself, to your emotions. Okay? Do I have the magician? It's about having faith, trusting. And knowing that you're capable of manifesting a new beginning or the new type of life that you want or that you desire. Okay? Let's get additional messages from this other deck. Additional messages, advice, or warnings, or whatever. I may be missing in this reading, not overlooking or just not seeing clearly. And then we will close the reading with the Dream Decoder. Okay? Happiness and healing the hearty. There's something else you need to tell Scorpio regarding the shooting or or situation. doesn't want things to flow fully. Okay? I just felt that very strongly. Something wants to keep you stuck. I'm gonna do one more. I just got one and I want a few more. Any additional messages for Scorpio, please? force it okay the very strange energy I just felt get the ace of cups heal and focus on your self-love focus on you okay you're being divinely supported okay but it's important that you make yourself a priority and and, and think about yourself and your healing Okay, and the only one that flew out was the High Priestess, Piscean Energy. Kind of funny, I've got the Moon and the Piscean, and there's just Piscean, and this is also Piscean Energy. Trust your intuition, answer to this calling. Exactly. Embrace the fear and the mystery. Don't be afraid. See, she's got the Moon below her, you know. She doesn't let the, the moon rule her somehow. Um, but listen to your higher self. Trust your intuition, trust yourself, okay? And don't be afraid of anything. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, let's... Uh, Close your reading with the Dream Decoder. Okay, remember that whether you've had this dream or not, just take the meaning of the dream as the best resonates for you. It doesn't have to be related or correlated with reading, but uh, just take it as additional advice. Scorpio, you have flowers. And it says, if flowers manifest in a dream, they are typically a symbol of comfort, beauty, kindness, love, or joy. They may represent your capacity for faith or compassion. Color symbolism may operate. White denotes purity. Blue, calm. Purple, adventure. Pink, tenderness. Orange, creativity and yellow playfulness. 
The type of flower can be significant too, so it's worth researching traditional associations. Daisies may suggest friendship, roses love, dandelions childhood, and lilies endings. The condition of the flowers may be a message from your dreaming mind about your inner life. Are they wild, cut, garden, or artificial flowers? Are they fresh and blooming or wilting and dying? If you receive a bunch of flowers or are picking them, this suggests a promising new relationship may be on the horizon. If you see a flower growing in a desert or a barren soil, this may be a reminder of your res resilience, 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 your ability to overcome challenges. Okay. Sorry about that. Sometimes I pronounce things so off. Anyway, Scorpio, I hope uh, that message resonates for you. Okay, somehow. Scorpio, this is the best I can do for you. Okay, I hope this reading gives you the guidance, answers, clarity that you're seeking at this moment of your life. Okay, if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And uh, Scorpio, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.